All right, so how's it going? We're gonna look at a video uh, on the empirical rule. Uh, this is typically for a distribution that's bell-shaped or uh, kind of like a normal distribution. And you can see the curve that we have here. Okay, this is a normal distribution here. And right here in the middle at the highest point, we have the mean mu. Okay, that's the mean mu. Now, if we go from the mean, if we go one standard deviation to the right and one standard deviation to the left, then the entire area under the curve from one standard deviation to the left and one standard deviation to the right is 68%, okay, or 0.68. Remember, the entire, the entire area under the curve is 1. All right. And then if we go two standard deviations about the mean, in other words, two standard deviations to the left and two standard deviations to the right, then the, this area here is 0.95. Okay. That, which means that 95% of the data lie within two standard deviations of the mean. And up here, 68% of the data lie within one standard deviation of the mean. And then if we go three standard deviations to the left and three standard deviations to the right, or three standard deviations about the mean, that's 0.997, okay? Or we could say, 99.7% of the data lie within three standard deviations of the mean. So what we'll do is we'll use this curve here to find our probabilities. Okay, so let's uh, so let's look at our problem here. All right. So it says the in the incubation time for Rhode Island red chicks is normally distributed with a mean of 21 days and a standard deviation of two days. If 1,000 chicks are being incubated, how many chicks do we expect will hatch? All right, so let's look at part A. All right, so, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda sketch this curve out up here, okay? All right. So the mean is 21, so that tells me I have 21 right here, okay? And it says in 17 to 25 days, how many chicks do we expect will hatch? All right, so we know 17 is over here, and 25 would be over here. All right, so if we look at this, we can see this is a difference of four, and this is a difference of four. It's four units to each one. Well, the standard deviation is two. So that means if we go from 21 to 17 in increments of two, okay? So we would go two units, and that would take us to 19, and then we would go two more units, and that would take us to 17. Okay, we're just going by however many standard deviations. And the same thing here, if we go to the right two units, that would take us to 23. And if we go two more units, that would take us to 25. So, so look at this. We are what? Between 17 and 25, we are one, two standard deviations to the left, and we're one, two, standard deviations to the right. So we're two standard deviations about the mean. Okay, well, that's where this comes in. See, see here I went one, two standard deviations. And then look at this. This is one, two standard deviations. One, two standard deviations. So the entire area under the curve is 0.95, or we can say 95% fall within two standard deviations of the mean. Okay, now what they want to know, 
okay, is they want to know how many chicks will hatch. Well, if there's a thousand chicks, we know 95% of them will hatch with between 17 and 25 days. So we would just find the 95% of 1000. So we multiply it by 0.95 and that would give us 950 chicks. Okay. All right. So let's look at another problem. All right. So now what about 19 to 23 days? So if we draw this, well, there's 21. Okay, so we got 19 to 23. Now look at this, from here to here, that's two, and from here to here, that's two. So we're what? We're one standard deviation about the mean. Okay, remember one standard deviation is two units. Okay. See, because the standard deviation is two days. Okay, all right. So, well, what would this be? We're one standard deviation about the mean. So if we come here to the mean, we go one standard deviation, one standard deviation. So it's this entire thing here, it's 68%. All right, so how many chicks will hatch? Well, 68% of them will. So that's 1,000 times the 68%, which is 0.68. And so that's going to give us 680 will hatch. All right. All right, let's look at the next one. So here it says part for part C in 21 days or fewer. All right, so there's the 21. So what does it want to know? 21 or fewer. So look at this. I'm actually looking for all of this area here, right? 21 or fewer. Okay, well, we can do that. We know the entire area under the curve is one. We know the entire area under the curve is one. So that would be what? 50% of them will hatch, right? All right. So how many would that make? So that's 1,000 times 0.5, which equals what? 500 will hatch. All right, so what about part D? All right, it says, there's the 21, 15 to 27. 15 to 27. Okay, so let's go from 21 to 15, all right, and let's do it in twos. Well, let's just see how it is, how much it is overall. Well, overall it's six, right? So we know we're going to go two, four, and then six. So here's two units, here's two units, and here's two units. And then look, it's the same thing here. This is six units, and I'm going to go one, I'm going to go two, two, and two. So I'm what? I'm one, two, three standard deviations to the left of the mean and three standard deviations to the right of the mean. So I'm three standard deviations about the mean, and that would be this one, which is 99.7%. Okay, so how many will hatch? Well, that's 1,000 times 0.997, which is 997. All right, so let's look at part E, the last one. So there's the 21, and it goes in 21 to 23 days. So there's the 23. So I'm just looking for this part in between here. That's what I'm looking for. Well, if we look at this, this distance is two. So that's actually one standard deviation above the mean, or you could say one standard deviation to the right of the mean. Okay, well, what's that? Well, remember, here's our mean, right? And so what is this area from here to 
to one standard deviation above the mean. It's 34%. That's the 34% right here. So, how many chicks will hatch? Well, that's 1,000 times 0.34, which gives us 340. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.